Hey guys, it's Shane here from Laser Mobile, and this is our first Rumor Roundup video in the last week of 2013. So let's get started. So to start out with Samsung, they've had a ton of rumors this week. So let's start out with their tablets. There's rumored to be a Galaxy Note 12.12 Pro. This is rumored to have a 9500 milliamp hour battery, which is way bigger than the 8200 milliamp hour battery in the current Note flagship. This was demoed in South Korea last week and supposedly there's going to be a new operating system that will focus more on work and being very productive. And there was another tablet rumored this week, the Galaxy Tab 8 Pro. There aren't really room, many rumors about this except that it will have an 8.4 inch screen and it is a tab, so no stylus. But hopefully they will f make more features and maybe gestures to enhance the experience because this isn't a Note tablet. And now move into their phones. The Galaxy S5 is going to have a 5.2 inch screen. This will be AMOLED. And it will be 2K. This will, the phone will also include an iris scanner, which will scan your eye, like Touch ID scans your finger. And I don't really know, they can't really go into fingerprints, and I don't know where companies are going to go. Maybe Sony will take like a blood test or something. But Samsung does have the technology because they use the eye scanning technology to tell, to use your eyes to scroll down the screen. Now let's move into Apple. iOS 7 is now available for jailbreak. However, it's kind of pointless because City is not available, so you don't really get the widgets or anything else that you would want because you jailbreak your phone. In other Apple news, the iPhone 6 should be released at WWDC in May, like the iPhone 4 was. And there will also be an iPad, rumored to be an iPad Pro that will be 13 inches to take on the Galaxy Note 12.2 Pro. Now let's move over to Oppo, specifically the Oppo Find 7. The Oppo Find 7 will have a 5.5 inch 2K display. Oppo confirmed this, and it will have a 2560 by 1440 display and a 538 PPI. For any of these stories, just check the description. I will have links for all of these stories so you can get more detail. And the LG G3 will also have a 2K display and it will also have a fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner probably won't go on the back because of all the buttons. So maybe they'll include it on, a fr on the front, maybe even in the screen, which would be very cool. And this will have an MWC launch a couple months away. And finally, our last news of the day, the HTC M8. A 3D printed HTC M8 came up in re leaks recently. However, I don't think this is the real thing, even though it seemed, because it seems worse in design than the HTC one. However, you do see a dual LED flash. And this doesn't include the hole on the top. However, the hole might be a fingerprint scanner, maybe like Touch ID because it's not as big, but there was only one of the devices. Remember how back a month or two ago there was a gold one released and a blue one released? Only the blue gold one had a hole in the top and the blue one didn't or vice versa. So maybe that could have just been a test model or something, but I really think that's real. I think if I were them they'd include it on the front because the one maxes didn't go so well. So thanks for watching guys. All the links are posted down below. Please like and subscribe again down below. It really does help me. Thanks for watching guys. This has been another Laser Mobile Rumor Roundup.